Delaware Bay aboard the cruiser Murmansk, 150 Russian sailors line up for their last inspection before she reverts to the United States as the USS Milwaukee. Transfer papers and strictly formal salutes are exchanged by American and Russian officers. Topside, the ship is in spit and polished shape, but below, conditions of indescribable filth are later discovered. Immediately, the communist sailors are rushed down the side to a launch in a procedure reportedly devised by the Russians to avoid even a courtesy salute to the American flag. The Soviet naval attaché, who had previously been entertained by the receiving American officer, shakes hands and leaves the ship. Without ever having set foot on American soil or talked with an American, the Russian crew goes a quarter of a mile down the bay where they're taken aboard the waiting Soviet freighter Vyacheslav Molotov, sent here to bring them back to the USSR. The Milwaukee once again flies the stars and stripes if for only a short while before she is scrapped. But no Russians see the flag. Without hail or farewell, they're far down toward the open sea, heading for Odessa. Oakland, California, and aftermath of a tremendous fire as a huge army pier and warehouse become smoking, smoldering ruins. No lives lost, but damage is estimated at above a million dollars, for the pier was packed with supplies. Paint, clothing, tires, jeeps, and barrels of oil destined for Okinawa and Japan. The fire began at midnight. Oil drums explode in the blistering heat in fiery clouds like atomic blasts. feet into the sky as firemen fight for control. Spectacular and destructive pyrotechnics as a vast army warehouse and supplies for the far Pacific are destroyed in a billion dollar inferno. The growing sport of skiing gets another big lift in Canada. At Banff, Alberta, high in the Canadian Rockies, a giant new ski lift opens up new trails and new vistas for the snowbirds. Some non-skiers just come along for the trip, which is quite a thrill in itself. For the lift is nearly one mile long and way, way up. Your own private chair amid a panorama of peaks. Up here, the snow lasts beyond the middle of May. So when it's springtime in the Rockies, it's ski time too. For the skiers or the tourists, for the sliders or just the riders, there's a new lift at Banff, where winter sports run right up till summer. The first transatlantic flagship of Israel's merchant fleet is dedicated in New York. The SS Haifa, formerly the Canadian Liberty Ship Fort Yukon, establishes regular traffic between New York and the Mediterranean port of Haifa under the Israeli ensign. Two other ships already contracted for will build up the fleet of the new Israel-America line. In the few months of its existence, Israel has imported $11 million in materials from the United States and exported $2 million to this country, a healthy beginning of international trade relations. Israel's foreign minister arrives in New York. Moshe Sharet, who recently changed his name from Shertok to the Hebrew word for servant, comes to visit the United Nations General Assembly and to confer on the United Jewish Appeal. Now he says of his country's foreign policy, The main problem of our foreign policy, of which I happen to be in charge, 
is peace with our neighbors. Peace between Israel and the Arab world. Peace throughout the Middle East as a contribution to world peace. And we very much hope that our admission to the United Nations as a member with full rights and obligations will be a contribution to the attainment of that end. Thank you. Mechanical hands to enable scientists to manipulate dangerous radioactive compounds by remote control from behind protective barricades. Any movement of the master handles results in exact duplication of movement by the mechanical hands. This demonstration by the Argonne National Laboratory in Chicago illustrates how effectively the equipment can perform the various human motions which are employed in grasping, lifting, moving, and turning objects. The device is believed to be the only completely master-slave manipulator ever developed. The name master-slave has been applied because the mechanical hands are entirely at the command of the master handles and the human hands. While penmanship is not its paramount task, the robot can also write as directed. And while on the lighter side, See how you can supply a cigarette for your lady friend when she has, oh, let's say, a case of measles. It has been said before, but never too often, science, it's wonderful. <laughs>